What's up, everybody? My name is Angel Fedet, and this is a, a brand new tutorial on how to draw. Um, I do apologize for <laughs> posting today because, well, there's a lot of problems with shit going on, and I hopefully, hopefully, the camera is working fine and doesn't have, and not gonna run out of batteries. I'm not. So, uh, right now, well, the first tutorial we're gonna talk about is gesture drawings. So, what is gesture drawings? Well, gesture drawings are characters formation of how um, drawing poses for the character to, for the narrative of the character to read their emotion by the poses and the looks. For example, this, I was showing, I drew this uh, from the recording, but since the, um, the error of the recording has been, has been jacking up the video, I had to present to you what does this. Um, this is a gesture pose. See how this woman is posing? She put her hand, like you can see from the arm, um, laying on her hip, and her pose is much more like a, much more like a, um, a sassy pose. So, um, the skills, um, so the, uh, the body of her, it represents, like, she, um, giving her, like, giving, um, telling her that she's, like, probably waiting for someone, or she giving a sassy look from her pose, because you heard the have you ever heard the phrase? Have you ever heard the phrase of uh, "action speaks out of the words"? This is what the, this is what this means. The action. Now, if you can see on the right side, it just shows a pose. It just shows an idle position. That's um, that's a lot of problem that every artist draw. Well, not every artist, young. Artists by the age of nine or by the age of nine or ten, they think um, the pose and um, the only simple pose is to draw this. This doesn't mean anything, and it's probably like an idle position. As go, go. Um, I'll ignore that. This is what I see sometimes, like, um, back in grade school. Um, this is how I sort of see, um, um, artists draw. Um, the, that the body is most like the idol in the position. That it's, like, it was stiff. Like, someone, like, stiff you up. Or something like that. And... And I was talking about ra rambling about um, talking about the hands. Like I see some of the hands, like they raise one of the hands up, and thinking that it's waving like that's a pose, but it actually isn't. Um, and also, and I was also talking about the hands, like some hands problems I seen as uh, some young artists they do um, um, the, that's only. The one thing that bothers me the most is the thumbs. The thumbs in the wrong position. Like you can see, like you see right here, if you see one thumb, this is the um, right thumb, and I'm dripping, um, and this one is the left thumb. And these two thumbs are in from the right position. Uh, this, this does, it's not, it's incorrect. This is incorrect for these two thumbs. Each thumb has supposed to be in two positions. The left one is on the right side. The left one, the left hand is on the, ugh, the right hand is on the right position. The, the, the right hand has the thumb Sticking out on the left on the left side, and the 
left hand is sticking out on the right side. And that somehow bothers me a lot when like people like mess up with the hands and like how like how can you mess up hands like I get it some people have trouble with hands and they somehow draw hands like like um like this they draw hands like that like Trump hands like if you see some like if you see some of some kids like these days they sometimes draw hands um that represents like this and they draw really tiny hands and they um and I mostly call them Trump hands because Trump hands um they have the tiniest hands they have the smallest hands they joke around it's kind of like the meme thing like the old meme but um yeah so this is the correct hand gesture and please make your hands a little bit bigger like don't not like do not make their hands like like humongously big make sure the hand is somehow like like try to put your hand on your face and make sure that your hand is like almost big enough for your face make sure your hands is big enough for your face so um i always sometimes I would sometimes do that with my hand with my hands I put my hands on my face and just measure to see if my hand is big enough. If it's way too big then shrink it and if it's a little too small then make it big for the hands thing. That's how I do it for all these um stuff. Oh uh, that's how I do all these um poses for the hand. And give your hands some pose. Do not, do not draw your hands with just only five fingers up like that, because that's another thing. I always hate it. Uh, I always hate it that um they they draw hands like like make it like nubs, like little nuggets, like nickel, like eh, little nuggets hands. And call it a wrap. Like, I hate it. Like that. I mean, there's some cartoon that's acceptable. Like, Adventure Time, they have little Nuggets hands. Like, little Nuggets hands. That draw like that. But, for me, that's unacceptable. I mean, if I was an art teacher, I would probably make it unacceptable for that. Because, um, because I don't, I mean, for me, I really do not accept this. This is a total no-no. That's a really no-no. For the art, of for the making from your cartoons and stuff like that, it's okay. But in, for me, no. No, I'll just say, no, that's, that's wrong. The anatomy of the hand is wrong. Uh, that's my personal opinion, Course. I mean, you could do what the, you could do what the hell you want for the hand. So, at least be, at least draw like draw creative from the hands. Like, make gestures, poses. Look at your hand and make sure that your pose is. Um, make sure the pose that you want actually look like the pose that you're giving for the hand or the body. That's something that is really most important. Because you cannot, because that's the human anatomy of a, of a person. If you not even the person, so. So yeah. Give your characters some life. Give them, um. Give them the expression. Give them the characteristic. Because that's what every um, because that's what every um, um drawings, um. That's what every artist do, that they give their characters multiple characters, make their body movement, make complicated work, and like, make complicated art and stuff. So, and also draw, also make, like, easy based off sketches, like, like, draw them, like, 
like, well, hold on, let me touch it. Make sure that the body has a, make sure that you line has, like, try to draw something like, like that. If you can see it, but I simply make a line, just like, even try to draw like that, and I can make, and you can draw some complicated figures that actually, that actually work. You see, I made a, like, a, a body, a body crouching down. Like that is so easy to do that. If you can see, um, that's kind of like the body of the character, like, like couch, crouching down. It's very, it is so easy. And you can think of some ways, just try to draw, like, some simple, like, line arts. Like, if you want to draw them jumping, then draw them jumping. It, it draw them jumping high like that. Like make them sim like try to draw the simplest you could do and comp like and also detail it. Like that. <laughs> Damn. I draw it very fast. And do and try, try to start off. I'm, I'm trying to explain. Try to start drawing. This from the simplest shape, simplest line form, and try to draw something that is simple. Then detailing all the complicated ridges that, and then you got yourself a figure. It's that simple. So, I guess at the end, that I hope that lesson. So tutorial. Yeah, I hope that tutorial lesson helps you on um, drawing figures, suggested drawings, and also hands. Um. So yeah, I'm Angel for it, and I approve this message. So see you on the next video. Peace.